the one I have been waiting for, the Sony Xperia 1. Unboxing and first look coming up. Welcome, I'm Techzilla and today I am unboxing the Sony Xperia 1. The box is nothing special, very unassuming in its white finish. Opening it up, the phone is presented top and center. Underneath we have another box which only houses a startup guide, strangely no warranty booklet. Also present is the Sony fast charging brick to charge the 3330 mAh battery the USB-C to USB-C charging cable, a USB-C to 3.5mm headphone dongle, and strangely enough, some earphones with a 3.5mm headphone jack. Thankfully, all these accessories are in black. Taking a closer look at the Xperia 1, the first thing that's striking is the form factor. That 4K HDR OLED 6.5 inch screen has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, the same as the films you and I watch in the cinema. Being a premium smartphone, the screen and back of the Xperia 1 are made from Gorilla Glass 6, which flank the aluminium frame in between them. The back of the phone houses the triple camera setup, which consists of a wide, super wide and telephoto lens, all of which are 12 megapixels. There is a little Sony and Xperia branding underneath the camera array, but nothing too offensive in my opinion. On the top of the phone, you can see the SIM card tray, which doesn't need a SIM ejection tool to open. And the tray itself can also take a micro SD card to expand the 128 gigabytes of built-in storage if needed. Along the right side is where all the buttons are housed, starting with the volume rocker, fingerprint sensor, power switch, and the Sony camera button. At the bottom of the Xperia 1, there is a USB-C charging port and a bottom firing speaker, but fear not, as the earpiece also acts as a secondary speaker. Next to which is the 8 megapixel selfie camera, which has 3D support, all neatly housed in a slim bezel, which mirrors the chin at the bottom of the screen. The whole package is powered by a Snapdragon 855 chip, with 6GB of RAM and from my experience this is ample for a Sony device as it's virtually running stock Android, with a few extras thrown in for good measure, such as Cinema Pro, an app that allows you to shoot pro grade videos using different effects and giving you a lot of manual control over those cameras. The compulsory Sony apps are also included such as PS4 Remote Play, PS App, movie creator and a couple of others which I find useful rather than bloatware which can be found on some other phones. The Xperia 1 comes with Android 9.0 out the box so it runs extremely fast and fluid, no lag, no hiccups, just buttery smoothness as intended. A few notable omissions are number one, there is no headphone jack which is surprising considering Sony's acoustic pedigree and number two, there is no wireless charging which is a shame but the good news is IP68 water and dust resistance is correct and present. Obviously the screen is a major talking point when it comes to the Xperia 1. I have to say that I love this screen. When watching Netflix the entire screen is fully utilized, no black borders, no notches, no pinching to zoom and no loss of any image. On YouTube I can watch content in 4K resolution as opposed to the 2K resolution I have had to settle for in the past. Detail is amazing, as is the color reproduction. This is thanks to Sony using the all new X1 for mobile image processing engine from the Sony Bravia TV lineup. The feel in hand has surprised me. I was expecting it to feel top heavy and difficult to hold, but in all honesty, it feels very comfortable. The weight is just right at 178 grams. It's very well balanced when I'm using the Xperia 1 and I can say that I do use it one handed. Being only 72 millimeters in width is easy to grip and I can reach the top of the screen just about. Overall, my first impressions are very positive. Cameras which have been developed in conjunction with Sony's legendary Alpha division, cinematic Dolby Atmos sound, that gorgeous screen that I love so much and the latest top end specs all wrapped up in a beautiful premium package for me makes this one of the best smartphones on the market right now. 
All you need to decide is which color do you want to go for? Black, purple, gray, or white? Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite color. If you are interested in picking one up, I urge you to use my links in the description below as it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it will help me grow my channel and make more content for all of you. Time to smash that subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification icon as I have loads more content coming out about the Xperia 1. Help me out by sharing this video on all your social media and within the Sony forums and groups and give me a thumbs up. Until next time, this is Techzilla saying, take care and peace.